Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today one on one we're going to be showing you the MSI GT60. This is the 15 inch version of MSI's highest grade gaming laptop. There are many different model numbers available for this laptop currently, but the one that we have to show you today is currently the highest available configuration. It comes with the NVIDIA GTX 680 Mobile, which is the very highest card available from NVIDIA currently. Other than the substantially upgraded GPU, all the other system specs have remained the same as the previously released models, and that includes key features like the backlit keyboard from SteelSeries, the Dynaudio speaker system, and the Bigfoot Gaming LAN card. Other than those quite unique features that are almost exclusive to the MSI GT series, you do have the things in common with other high-end laptops, such as the Ivy Bridge architecture, a really great internal cooling system to keep all your components cool and working properly, and also something new that's starting to catch on is a lot of the high-end laptops are coming with matte, non-glossy displays. So let's start to take a tour around the system. Above the keyboard is a touch-sensitive panel that gives you access to certain system features, like the turbo fan feature here that will automatically turn the system fans up to 100% speed for you. You can change the brightness, you can do your Wi-Fi off and on, your monitor off and on, and you can also see your notification LEDs for caps lock and number lock. Also right there is the eject button, so eject your optical drive for you. Moving along further up, just above the LCD screen near the center, you're going to spot the integrated webcam and also the integrated microphone for all your Skype calls and multimedia. Now we'll take a tour around the perimeter of the laptop. Starting from the back, you'll notice that the lid is coated with brushed aluminum and it's a black brushed aluminum so it looks actually very nice. You have a very glossy MSI logo in the center. Down below the ports, the first one on the left is obviously where you're going to plug in your power supply to charge the battery or run on mains power. Next to that is your Ethernet port for the wired internet connection. A DB15 VGA connection for using old monitors and projectors. And the eSATA port, which is actually kind of rare to see these days, for very high speed external hard drive connections. And also an HDMI port, so you can hook it up to your HDTV for sound and video really easily with just one cable. All the way over to the right, you're seeing the giant heat sink that is responsible for cooling the system. It does have a dual exhaust. One side comes out the back, one side comes out the other side, the left here. And it has one big fan that's responsible for pushing the air out through those dual heat sinks. Just past the heat sink on the left side, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports, a multi card reader, and then a third USB 3.0 port. Once you manage to get around to the front of the laptop, you will find that there are no ports or connections in the front, just your status LEDs. And once you get to the right hand side, you're going to find not the normal two, but an actual four audio connections here. 3.5 millimeter connections. Starting on the left, you have your headphone connection. Next to that, a microphone connection. And then you have a line in and a line out. So this laptop is very versatile when it comes to audio and using it with external systems. One standard USB 2.0 port, and then of course your optical drive is all you're going to find on the right hand side. For those who are curious about the maximum open angle for the LCD screen, it does open to a full 180 degrees. So when you're using the laptop in a dock situation where you might need the screen to open wider than normal, this laptop will easily be able to do that for you. Now it's time to move on to the part of the review that might be the most important to you if you're looking at a high performance gaming laptop like this one, the benchmarks. We have 3D Mark 11, the newest and hardest 3D Mark, at performance 5856. This is actually a really good score for a laptop. Keep in mind that this is the newest version of 3D Mark, not the older versions, where the scores will be much higher as we'll show you in a moment. We did run these tests at the stock frequencies without overclocking. Right now, idling, we're at about under 40 degrees Celsius. Here's all your GPU-Z information for the NVIDIA GTX 680 Mobile.
During the benchmark, we had MSI afterburner running in the background to log our temperatures. And during that benchmark, the highest temperature we reached was 84 degrees Celsius. So this is well within normal operating temperatures for a high-end GPU and shows that the laptop cooling is working well. And now moving on to a much more familiar 3 d Mark Vantage, we have a performance score of 20,952. So we actually broke the 20,000 mark. Again, here we had GPU-Z running. We're now at 44 degrees Celsius after the benchmark. All the GPU-Z information again, showing that we were at the stock frequencies. And then the MSI afterburn information with our temperature log shows that we hit 84 degrees Celsius during that benchmark at the highest point. Taking our temperature testing a little bit further, here currently is a thermometer showing the ambient temperature in the room. And what we're going to do is use an infrared thermometer to show you the external and surface temperatures of the laptop while running an intensive benchmark. The most important part about this test is to take a look at the key points that your hands would be interacting with the laptop like the palm rest and touchpad and make sure that we don't have any major heat leaks that would cause it to be uncomfortable to your hands and cause sweating. Also it's a good way to see that the cooling system is working like it's supposed to because you'll see much higher temperatures near the exhaust range. And we'll try to get readings for both Celsius and Fahrenheit. So that way, no matter where you're from in the world, you understand what kind of temperatures you're looking at. Now the next order of business is showing off the Dynaudio speaker system in this laptop. By far the MSI GT series sound system beats out pretty much any other laptop on the market. Definitely the best we've heard. Now we'll go take a closer look at a feature that a lot of people will be very excited about, the multicolor LED keyboard. Not only does the keyboard light up, but you do have software, the KLM software, where you can change the colors to be whatever you'd like and also set several different animation modes to make it look even more impressive. With so much variety and flexibility in the software, you can pretty much always set the keyboard into some kind of mode that you feel is just right for your mood or the way you want your laptop to look. And now we approach the end of things as we always show you a minor disassembly of the system. You have one giant bay door to remove and that gives you access to all of your system components making it very easy for user upgrades and for maintenance. So you do see you have one single cooling fan with the heat sinks and the heat pipes separate. So it is a dual cooling system with one fan. Your RAM slots are here. One of your hard drives is here. This is the underbody subwoofer. This is what gives a lot of the uh, sound for the sound system. And then at the bottom you'll spot one last spot for a secondary drive that's not installed. So that everybody will conclude our look at the MSI GT60 today. If you'd like to find out more about the GT60 such as current pricing and availability, you can go straight to our site gentechpc.com where you can find all that information.
If you need to have any specific questions answered, feel free to contact us by phone or by email, as well as our online forum. So once again, this was GenTech PC, and we'll see you next time.